That's fun. With just 24 hours until the start of the main draw, we are back here in the iconic Arthur Ashe Stadium where the man that they call the greatest of all time, Roger Federer, is practicing live right behind us. The 20-time Grand Slam champion is looking for his first U.S. Open since 2008. Let's keep it locked in with Roger as he gets ready for his first match. This is, of course, the sixth and final day of U.S. Open Fan Week. Throughout the week, the fans have been out in full force. As all the top players in the world are practicing live, we had the qualifying tournament, which saw quite a few Americans with some strong performances. Yesterday was one of the most beloved events of U.S. Open Fan Week, Arthur Ashe Kids Day. Some of the top music acts in the world were on hand here in Arthur Ashe Stadium to perform for thousands of the game's youngest fans. And now we're back live. Of course, we were just bringing you coverage of Defending U.S. Open women's champion Sloane Stevens will also have defending U.S. Open men's champion Rafa Nadal coming right here in Arthur Ashe Stadium just after Roger Federer is done. That coming in about 30 minutes. We also have former U.S. Open champion Andy Murray, former U.S. Open champion Novak Djokovic practicing today. Make sure you keep it locked in with us. We'll have all that for you live throughout the day. Federer came out here about 25 minutes ago, started with an easy warm-up, now playing some practice points. Roger Federer coming into the tournament, ranked number two in the world. He had a strong performance in the last Masters 1000 tune-up before the U.S. Open in Cincinnati last week. It was his first tournament since Wimbledon. He had a tough three-set victory over... Stan Wawrinka in the quarterfinals before falling to Novak Djokovic in a hard-fought match in the finals. Federer disappointed in his Wimbledon performance this year, losing in the quarterfinals to South Florida resident, the six-foot-eight South African Kevin Anderson, 13-11 in the fifth set. Federer has more than his fair share of positive memories here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. He won a record five consecutive U.S. Open titles from 2004 to 2008. That, the height of Roger's initial Grand Slam run, but he has not won a U.S. Open crown since 2008. He certainly had a few chances. He was looking for his sixth consecutive U.S. Open title in 2009, but was stopped by then 21-year-old Argentine Juan Martín del Potro. Federer also reached the final in 2015, losing to Novak Djokovic. Federer with 98 career titles, that's second in the Open era behind Jimmy Connors' 108. Federer's sustained dominance in the men's game has been unprecedented. He first became number one 14 years ago in 2004. He was the second youngest player to reach the career Grand Slam at age 27. Of course, it took him 
a few years to finally capture the elusive French Open title with Rafael Nadal's continued greatness on clay, but he finally broke through and at the age of 27 checked the career Grand Slam off of his to-do list. Let us know in the comments your pick to win the U.S. Open men's and women's singles titles this year. We want to hear all your predictions in the comments. Will Roger Federer win his record 21st Grand Slam and separate even further from former record holder Pete Sampras at 14 and from longtime rival Rafa Nadal at 17. Will Rafa win his second straight U.S. Open crown? Will Novak Djokovic win another Open after capturing the Wimbledon Championship a few weeks ago? Today's trivia question, true or false, Federer is a U.S. Open junior champion. Let us know. Let's see who the biggest Fed fans in the comments are. Was Roger Federer a U.S. Open junior champion? Agged in the comments saying, go Federer, grow. But Cecilia saying, Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. Of course, always two of the best players, most popular players on tour. Vladimir commenting his support for Novak Djokovic. Alexa and Sin both rooting for Rafael Nadal. Dina commenting that Roger Federer will capture his 21st Grand Slam title here at this year's Open. It seems like a lot of folks are saying false. We'll see. Let us know. Is it true? Is it false? And the answer is false. Roger did have an incredibly successful junior career, though he was the 1998 Wimbledon junior champion. He lost in the US Open junior final in 1998 to Another gentleman who had quite a bit of success here at the Open, David Nalbandian. Federer also was an Orange Bowl champion, of course, one of the most prestigious junior tournaments. He defeated Guillermo Coria in the final. Federer reached the number one junior world ranking in 1998 before turning pro and entering the top 100 for the first time in late 1999. Of course, just a couple years later, we remember his first major breakthrough on tour. That was when Federer was just 19 years old at the 2001 Wimbledon Championships, where he defeated the four-time defending champion, Pete Sampras, who was the number one player in the world. Federer defeating him in five sets before losing to Tim Henman in the quarters. That one of the, at the time, most shocking defeats in Sampras's career. Of course, Federer would go on to continue to show his dominance on grass, winning eight Wimbledon titles. The first one coming just two years after that victory over Sampras in 2003. Carolina and Rudy in the comments saying that they think Serena Williams will take home the women's title. We saw her practicing early this morning at 9 a.m. here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. 
She, of course, missed last year's U.S. Open, but is back and better than ever this year. Roger Federer has looked great in practice all week. We saw him yesterday playing some practice sets with Stan Wawrinka. Federer a bit frustrated with himself right now. A couple of unforced errors early in this practice. Marissa in the comments cheering Roger Federer on. Federer with the rare back-to-back -back unforced errors. Of course, always known for his efficiency and consistency on the court. One of the biggest questions leading up to the U.S. Open draw unveiling this past Wednesday, the U.S. Open experience was where would Novak Djokovic fall? Of course, the top four seeds, Rafa, Federer, Del Potro, and the young German, Sasha Zverev, have their own quarters, separate quarters of the draw, but Novak Djokovic coming into the tournament outside of that top four, of course, and he could have landed in any of their respective quarters. And Novak Djokovic ended up falling in Roger Federer's quarter of the draw, meaning that an earlier than anticipated battle between Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic could take place. They'll be standing in each other's way in the quarterfinals should they each win through. Rafael Nadal, of course, happy to see Novak fall in Federer's quarter. Rudy asks what hour the matches start tomorrow. They kick off at noon Eastern here in Arthur Ashe Stadium tomorrow. Some of the outer courts will be underway at 11, but here in Arthur Ashe, noon Eastern will be the first main draw match of the U.S. Open between 2016 Open champion Stan Wawrinka and Grigor Dimitrov. Dimitrov, another guy on tour that people have been asking, when is he finally going to break through in a Grand Slam? Federer did everything right that point, showed off his beautiful one-handed backhand, driving the ball deep through the court, but was a bit unlucky there with his opponent hitting the net cord. Yuri in the comments reading for Roger Federer. Fritz in the comments, rooting for Roger as well. Pete, thank you for, for joining us. He says this is cool and asking for a response. Well, there you go. As we've seen throughout the practice week with the roof on the court, half the court shaded, half the court in direct sunlight. The players have been routinely switching back and forth to get the feel on each side, especially while serving.
Fitter's first round match will be against the young Japanese player Nishioka, just 22 years old. Career high ranking of number 58 in the world. Reached the second round of the Open in 2015, but that was his best showing. He did, however, get to the semifinals of the Junior U.S. Open in 2012. Yoshioka had an ACL reconstruction in 2017, missed most of the remainder of last season, but was back this year using his protected ranking in the early part of the season. In the first round of the Australian Open, using that protected ranking, he defeated the 28 seed Philip Kohlschreiber. So Nishioka, of course, capable of some very high level tennis when healthy, but Roger Federer, of course, expected to handily prevail over the lefty. You see Roger out here playing his practice set against a lefty hitting partner in preparation for facing Nishioka, the left-hander. Federer and Nishioka have not played before. Nishioka was just eight years old when Roger Federer first became number one in the world. Should Federer win that first round match, a second round opponent could be either Denis Novak, the Austrian currently ranked number 140 in the world, or Benoit Paer, a 29-year-old Frenchman who reached a career high ranking of number 18 in the world in 2016, a former US Open fourth round appearance. In 2015, reached the Wimbledon fourth round in 2017. Pair, the former ATP Comeback Player of the Year after rising from 126 in the world to a career high ranking at the time of number 19 after a knee injury knocked him out for most of the 2014 season. Pair currently ranked number 56 in the world, six foot five right hander. After that, in the third round, a possible fiery matchup for Federer with the Aussie Nick Kyrgios, of course, one of the most talented players on tour. You never know what you're going to get with Kyrgios, but he has number one in the world quality talent. That will be a tough match for Roger. Pete in the comments asking, is this the new Louis Armstrong? We were just in the new Louis Armstrong for Sloan Stevens practice. However, this is, of course, in the iconic Arthur Ashe Stadium, Federer practicing here in Ashe for most of the week. All right, we have another trivia question for you. Let us know how hardcore of a Roger Federer fan are you? Tell us the names of his four kids. Do you know the names of Federer's four children? Andy asks, anyone know why Federer is using the all-black racket? Again, that Federer RF Pro staff, he's been using all week in practice week. Had commenting, live for the U.S. Open. We're certainly excited for the Open as well.
Melissa asked when is Federer's first match. Federer is in the bottom half of the draw, meaning he will play his first main draw match on Tuesday. The schedule has not been announced yet, so we'll see whether he is in the day or night session. We certainly expect him to be playing right here in Arthur Ashe Stadium, so stay tuned for that. Tomorrow is the top half of the draw getting underway. Rafa Nadal will be playing the nightcap here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Of course, one of the fan favorite aspects of the U.S. Open are those night matches. Seymour saying, I wonder if Roger has the endurance to last more than a couple of five set matches. Well, Seymour, he's looked great throughout practice this week. He has uh, had some hard fought battles in practice sets all week. He even on the second day of fan, we came out for a double practice session. He hit for an hour out on grandstand, came back out for another practice session here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. So stamina has not looked to be any issue for Roger this week so far, we've also had some relatively mild conditions. It's been cooler than anticipated for a New York summer this week. Omar in the comments saying he can do it and get the 21st. Well, let's, we'll be tuned in throughout the U.S. Open seeing if Roger can do it. And the answer to the trivia question, how hardcore of a Federer fan are you? Let us know the names of his four children. And they are Myla, Charlene, Lenny, and Leo. The names of Roger Federer's children. Audrey got it right. Well done, Audrey. Pete saying he didn't know they changed the on-court furniture on Ash as well. They did indeed. A lot of the player chairs and such recently redesigned, and they look fantastic. Mark asking, are practice sessions in the stadiums open to the public? During fan week, all of the grounds except for Arthur Ashe Stadium have been open to the public. Better with a miss hit return there. Thanks to everyone joining us at home. Let us know in the comments your pick to win the U.S. Open title, what matches you're most excited to watch, any other picks or predictions you have, let us know. Federer, again, showing some exceptional footwork right there. We have an exciting day for you right after Roger Federer finishes his practice session in about 10, 15 minutes. We'll have Rafa Nadal, the defending men's champion right here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Later in the day, we'll have former U.S. Open champion Andy Murray. We'll also have another former champion, Novak Djokovic, all playing. We'll have all of those practice sessions for you, so keep it locked in with us. Joey Brander here, of course, with you throughout the week. Audrey commenting that she's picking Roger Federer to win.
Canadian former Grand Slam finalist Milos Raonic will be playing early tomorrow. He's the first match on court five at 11 a.m. The American Jack Sock coming in as the 18th seed will be on at 11 a.m. on court 17 here at the Open. Svitolina, the seventh seeded woman, will be playing at 11 a.m. Simona Halep, the top ranked woman in the world, will be playing at 11 a.m. on Louis Armstrong Stadium. So if you're in the New York area, make sure you come on out to the Open. We've got an exciting first day of action for you. Roger taking a quick break. Pete commenting, Roger's a tough draw, Kyrgios and Novak just to get to the semis. That's right, he would possibly face Kyrgios in the third round and Novak in the quarters. Nick Kyrgios will be playing the nightcap on Louis Armstrong Stadium tomorrow at 7 p.m. This year, night matches on multiple courts. Roger walking back out on the court. Andre commenting, legend RF. Rodica commenting, I think he will have a difficult time overcoming no lay, but if he does, he may win it again. Carlos commenting, RF the GOAT. Jennifer asking about coverage in the UK. Well, Jennifer, you can keep it locked in with us on US Open social media, and we'll be bringing you behind the scenes coverage, live player practices, interviews, analysis, all throughout the tournament, so keep it locked in with us. Don commenting, we'll be there Tuesday. Well, Don, looking forward to seeing you. Make sure you come say hello to the U.S. Open social team. Bob commenting, wonder how many Swiss flags will be there. Well, there have been quite a few Swiss flags around the grounds throughout Fan week this week, of course, with both Stan Vavrinka and Roger Federer here practicing every day. Federer with a beautiful forehand on the run, deep cross court there to win the point. Federer with about as good a footwork as there is on tour, despite being 37 years old, still able to move around the ball so efficiently and get it down in a strike zone. Michael asking, is Serena playing in the U.S. Open? She is. She is back and better than ever this year in the Open. She was practicing at 9 a.m. this morning here on Arthur Ashe. And she will be playing tomorrow as well. Serena will be in the first night match, 7 p.m. tomorrow against Magna Lynette from Poland, that her first round opponent. That will be followed by the defending champ, Rafa Nadal, against someone he is pretty familiar with. Spaniard David Ferrer, a former Davis Cup teammate of Rafa Nadal, 24 and 6 against Ferrer all time. Ferrer, a former Grand Slam finalist, former top five player in the world. That should be an exciting opening round battle. Gehan commenting, hi from Egypt. We welcome all of our fans from around the world. Thanks for joining us. U.S. Open, of course, one of the most popular tournaments across the globe. Audrey commenting, when is Maria Sharapova? Sharapova will be playing on Tuesday in the night session on Louis Armstrong. As will Nick Kyrgios.
beautiful breezy day here in Flushing Meadows. And with that beautiful deep return from Roger Federer and a one-hander to follow it up, which looked like it just caught the line, we will be back. Roger with just about three, four minutes left in his practice session. Defending U.S. Open champion Rafa Nadal will be coming right after, so make sure you keep it locked in with us. Ismail commenting, when is Rafa? Rafa will be out here on center court, Arthur Ashe Stadium, and within five to ten minutes. So keep it locked in the U.S. Open social media for Rafa's practice. Andy Murray and Novak Djokovic coming later in the day. It's an exciting day. Roger just finishing up, walking off the court. Joey Brander here with you all day, all week, and all tournament long. Keep it locked in with U.S. Open social media, and we will be back with Rafa.